All right. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. I'm happy that you're able to join through Instagram, through Zoom. We'll give it a couple of seconds for people to tune in, for people to get the message and for the whole Instagram algorithm to work, the whole Zoom algorithm to work. You might need a candle. But if you don't have a candle, then I'll give you other alternatives. So today we'll do different kriyas, different cleansing actions, cleansing exercises. Pranayama, which is the manipulation of our life force energy. We want to be able to work with our emotional energy so that we can get out of this whole situation sane, especially nowadays that our basic need for social contact and also our basic freedoms are restricted for the general good. So today we want to cleanse, clear up the mind, we want to ground down and we want to um, build up our energy, work with from a place of stillness, from a place of groundedness, work with our energy so we feel uplifted and we'll also do some mantras some um, interesting phrases that can help bring more abundance to our life, remove obstacles and open us up to love and grace. Now you've probably heard a bell right now. That's the app that I'm using. It's called um, Insight Timer. So if you'd like to do your meditation on your own these days, you can download this app, Insight Timer, and there's, there's beautiful practices in there, or you can just set your own bells, like I did. So we'll start with the first exercise. Our first exercise is actually candle gazing, but as I said, if you don't have a candle close by, then you can do the exercise with a mirror, looking into your eyes, or you can just get a piece of paper, draw a dot in the middle and focus your eyes on the dot. Trataka is just the action of focusing your sight on one point. So you can simply find a point that works for you. You can find a flame if you have a candle and focus on the flame or you can go to a mirror and focus on your eyes. Just do some eye gazing with yourself. Ideally, this exercise is done in the dark. So I will switch off the light and you're just focusing on the flame. So you want to sit up tall, send your sit bones back, pick up your chest, pull your shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, reach the back of your scalp up to the sky. And remember, if this is not comfortable for you, use a chair or come to a kneeling position or use different cushions, build up a tower and sit on top. You want to feel comfortable today, it's very important. So sit up tall and gaze at the flame into your eyes or at a fixed point. Trataka is a great way to cleanse, to clear up the mind and to work with focus, one pointedness. So make sure you're comfortable, still, and keep your eyes fixed at a point or at flame. You want your eyes to be slightly wider than normal. And as much as possible, you want to keep your eyes open, just focusing at the point, at the eyes or at the flame. Allow the breath to be natural, your body to be still and proud. 
and focus on the point you're focusing. Stay focused, keep all of your awareness at the point where your eyes are focusing, keep your eyes open and focus on that point. If different thoughts or images come up, acknowledge them, they're there, and then go back to the practice. Keep all your focus on the point you're looking at, at the flame, or at whichever point you've chosen to focus on today. Eyes open, stay still, breathe naturally, and focus on that point. Beautiful. This was five minutes of candle gazing or trataka, focusing at a point. We will now keep our focus on that point, whether it's a dot, a flame, or our eyes in the mirror. And then close our eyes and try to trap that image at our eyebrow center. If you need a reminder of that image, you can open your eyes again, trap the image, close your eyes, and try to keep that image, that dot, at the center of the eyebrows. With your intention, hold that image still. And then turn it into energy, into vibrations. Feel that flame at the eyebrow center. Feel that warmth at the eyebrow center. Feel that one focused point at the eyebrow center. With intention, we'll bring that feeling all the way down to the point behind our belly button. So you want all your focus now to be at that point behind the belly button. You want to sit up tall. We'll go for a breathing exercise, Kapalabhati. Stay still. If you need uh, a reminder of the exercise, what we want is to pump our lower belly with air. So you inhale into that point, into that flame, that fire in, at the belly. And then exhale, keep sitting up tall, pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down, reach the back of the scallop. Inhale, half a breath into the belly and then begin Kapalabhati through the mouth, just like you're blowing a candle. Short, sharp, quick, exhale, breaths. Focus at the belly button, keep pumping the belly, keep pumping the fire there, the vibrations. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Exhale fully. Let all the breath out. Maybe hold the breath out for a second. You can pull the belly in and reach it up. And then relax the belly. Inhale deeply. 
Inhale to the top and hold your breath at the top. Maybe sip a bit more air in and then bring the chin down, hold your breath, visualize the pelvic floor lifting up, have your awareness at the center of the chest, relax the muscles of the face and as you're holding the breath, feel an expansion from the center of the chest. Then pick up your chin, relax pelvic floor, exhale through the nose, keep sitting up tall, inhale, exhale through the nose, we'll do one more round of Kapalabhati, you can repeat it through the mouth or do it through the nose, remember it's forceful exhales and the inhale is just automatic, keep all your awareness at the belly and at the fire there, begin when you're ready. Short, sharp, quick, exhale, breaths. Focus at the belly. Relax the face. Relax the shoulder blades down. Keep pumping for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, forceful exhales, 4, 3, to exhale out. Let all the air out. You can hold the breath out for a second, pick up pelvic floor, bring the chin in, hold it out, and then chin up, relax pelvic floor. Inhale deeply. Inhale to the top, hold your breath. Maybe sip a bit more air in. Swallow the breath down, bring the chin in, pick up pelvic floor, focus at the heart center. Stay still and feel the expansion as you're holding the breath. You can visualize a bright light getting brighter and bigger at the center of the chest. You can listen at the sound of OM, the sound of expansion. Just focus at the, eyebrow, at the heart center. Amazing. Pick up the chin, relax the floor, exhale through the nose. Inhale, open the mouth and exhale out. Sit still for a second. Just notice the effects of these cleansing kriyas, these cleansing actions. Beautiful. We'll now get an opportunity to move our legs a bit. So if you're feeling now, this is your chance. You can use your hands to bring the knees in and we'll come up to a low squat. So you'll squat down, bring your hands to your thighs. I'll pick up the zoom screen just a bit. All right. So what you want is to send the hips back. We'll do some Agni Sara. So you exhale through the mouth, let all the breath out, press down into the heels, pick up the pelvic floor, pull the belly in and lift it up. Then you relax and you inhale. So exhale all the breath out, hold the breath out and pick everything in and up. Relax and then inhale. Again, so exhale. Let all the breath out, and you want to create a vacuum, pulling the belly in and up. And you relax the belly, and you inhale. Five more times. Exhale. Press into the heels. Squeeze your back. Pick up pelvic floor. Pull belly in. Lift it up. Keep rounding through the back. And then relax and inhale. Exhale all the breath out. Keep the muscles of the face relaxed, the shoulder blades down, press into the heels, pull belly in, lift everything up. Relax before inhaling and then inhale. Three more, really focus at that fire behind the belly button. So exhale, exhale all the breath out. Pull everything in and lift up. 
Feel that cleansing fire working. Then relax and then inhale. Two more at your own pace. Really exhale all the breath out. Around through the back, pull the shoulder blades down, press into the heels, lift everything up, squeeze everything up. Even if nothing is actually happening yet, keep those engagements and with time, you'll be able to suck everything in and out. Remember when you're ready to inhale, first relax and then inhale and then go for one last repetition. When you're done, come to standing and bring your hands to your belly button in a downward facing triangle. So form a triangle with the hands, tips of the thumbs together, tips of the index and, and middle fingers together. Place the hands in that gesture in front of the belly button, pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, keep pressing down into the feet to stay tall. Just relax your awareness at the point behind the belly button. Acne is the digestive fire. The fire in the body that digests everything going on, the thoughts, the feelings, the stories. So allow the fire to just cleanse the body. Stay receptive to anything that might come up, any feeling, any idea, but keep a distance. Watch it as if it's something foreign. Now use your hands to massage your belly, form circular movements. to sit it. If you were comfortable sitting uh, cross-legged, maybe cross the legs the other way now. You want to sit up tall. We'll now do an interesting exercise for activating our pelvic floor. So make sure that your sits bones are grounded, send your sits bones back, pull the belly in, lift it up and reach the chest up. We'll bring our elbows, shoulder height, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. You want the palms to face your root, so your palms are directed towards your pelvic floor. We'll do two exhales and then an inhale. So we exhale halfway, we bring the hands down halfway and then we exhale full weight and we bring the arms down lower, facing the root. And then inhale and you bring the arms up. You want all your awareness at the pelvic floor and you want to squeeze every time you exhale, squeeze every time you exhale and then inhale and relax. So try it. Exhale, exhale, inhale, relax. Again. Keep sitting up tall, keep going. 
Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Squeeze, squeeze. Relax. All your awareness at the pelvic floor. Squeeze, squeeze. Relax. Four more. Squeeze. Squeeze, release completely, squeeze, squeeze harder, relax completely, two more. Last one, squeeze, squeeze and hold, hold it, squeeze it up, think of the sit bones coming in, the tailbone coming forward, the pubic bone coming back, keep lifting up, reach up through the pelvic floor, squeeze a bit more and then relax and inhale. Relax the muscles of the face. Sit up tall and relax the pelvic floor completely. Now you have some more awareness at the layers of muscles at the pelvis, so you want to release any engagement there. Through the practice of yoga, we squeeze hard, we contract our muscles, and we do that in order to have some more awareness of our holding patterns. A lot of people live their whole life contracting different muscles without knowing it. So there's people who are constantly constipated, physically, emotionally, just by having that engagement at the pelvis. So you want to have that awareness so that if you find yourself squeezing at any point during the day, you can relax, breathe, and allow energy to flow freely without you squeezing it and blocking it at any point with any engagements. We'll now do alternate nostril breathing. So now that we've triggered a bit all the energy at the pelvic floor, we want to clear up the nadis, the different pathways for energy to go all the way up for enlightenment to happen. So we'll bring index and middle fingers to our eyebrow center and we'll press there lightly so that we can relax the eyebrows, relax the forehead, relax the jaw. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back. We're using the right hand because the left hand is traditionally used for wiping the butt in India. So the left arm is relaxed, you can keep the left arm straight, you can bring index and middle fingers together and press lightly. And what's important is to keep your awareness to a tall body and to a relaxed breath. So exhale through the nose and then we'll use the thumb to block the right nostril and inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, one. Switch, block the left nostril and exhale through the right. Four, three, two, one. One, stay here, inhale through the right, five, four, three, two, one, switch out left, five, four, three, two, one, in left, five, four, three, two, one, out right, five, four, three, two, one, in right, five, Four, three, two, one, up left. Five, four, three, two, one, in left. Five, four, keep sitting up tall. One, up right. Five, four, keep the shoulder blades down. One, in right. Five, four, keep the muscles of the face relaxed. One, up, left, five, four, three, two, three more rounds, in left, five, four, three, two, one, out, right, five, four, three, two, one, in right, five, four, three, two, one, out, left, five, Four, keep your back straight, reach up through the back of the scalp, in left, five, four, three, two, 
one out right five four three two one in right five four three two one out left five four three two last round in left five four three two one out right five four three two one in right five four three two one out left five four three two one release your arm breathe normally come back to that place of observing what's happening Watch how your body is feeling right now, how your energy is, what your mind is doing. We'll come to lie down for just a minute for complete relaxation of the body. So you want to find yourself lying face up. If you need to keep your knees bent and bring them together so that the lower back is long. Otherwise, you can extend your legs out and allow your feet to splay out. You want the whole body to be comfortable. We won't be here too long, but bring your chin in, keep your neck long. You can squeeze as you exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, and then inhale, relax it completely. Relax the whole body, relax the muscles of the face and stay here, breathing comfortably, naturally, and allowing the whole body to relax before our meditation. Gently bring your awareness back to your breath. And then breathe deeply, send the belly button up. And breathe out, empty the lungs. Visualize all your energy moving to your fingers, your toes, and the top of the head. Inhale and start moving fingers, toes, and head and then very slowly while breathing comfortably find yourself with the knees on your chest come to the side and use your hands to sit up gentle movements find yourself in a seated position again again remember you can sit on a chair sit on a blanket sit cross-legged or sit kneeling We will now move to our mantra practice. Mantra is the science of sound. We want to just focus on the Sanskrit words, Sanskrit phrases. Sanskrit is an ancient sacred Indian language and it has vibrational quality, which means that the words were chosen during deep states of meditation because those sounds represent the quality behind the meaning of the word. English is not such a language. When we say peace, it's a quite harsh word. Whereas in Sanskrit, shanti, shanti, which means peace, sounds peaceful. So if you keep repeating those words, you actually get into that state of mind. Imagine it as if you're listening to hard rock music all day compared to listening to classical or a sweet melody all day. It will have a different effect on how you're feeling, on how you're thinking and on how you're acting. So just 
focus on the sound, focus on the quality of the sound. If the body ends up moving as you're doing the mantras, that's fine. Just keep integrity in the body, stacking up all the energetic centers and focus on the sound. You can close your eyes or find a, po a fixed point with your eyes. Our first mantra will be a Ganesha mantra. Ganesha represents the idea of removing obstacles from your life so you can live your best life while staying on track. Ganesha is also said to put obstacles in your path if you're getting out of your actual path, of your actual track. So this is a great mantra to start our mantra practice because it will get us going and get us focused without any obstacles. The mantra is Om Ganapataye Namaha. Om is the sound of the universe, the sound of the sun as it revolves around us itself, the sound of expansion. Ganapata is another name for Ganesha, this representation of removing obstacles. Ye is an upward flexion of energy for everything to find its natural um, ascendance. And then Namaha means I bow to you, I honor you. So I will start slowly and then I'll pick up the pace. Sit up tall, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and focus on the sound. You can join me from the third repetition or you can simply listen. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, it's good if you try to join along. So sit up tall and just focus on the sound. Om Gana Pataye Namaha 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 Gana Pataye Namaha, Om 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 Gana Pataye Namaha, Sit still, sit with the vibrations. If you're new to the mantra practice, it's a powerful mantra practice. It's a powerful, it's a powerful practice. It might make you feel dizzy, it might make you feel warm, or it might confuse you. Just sit with it and it's a practice every day it gets more familiar and more effective so just keep your focus on the sound the second mantra is a heart mantra a throat mantra it opens us up to love to grace to everything that's here in the world and we just need to be open enough to receive it it also opens up our throat so that we are expressive creative and we can give back that's the point of life love receiving love and expressing love and being open to that flow sitting up tall 
you'll focus on the mantra of Aum, which is again Om, but the more expansive version. Ahum, Pat, P H A T, but the H just makes the P stronger. Pat, Swaha. Swaha is another ending for man mantras. It means to cut, to surrender, to give up to the fire. It's much harsher. And if you hear that the sounds of this mantra are stronger, Aum, Ahum, Pat, Swaha, because they're actually there to destroy any mechanisms that we built supposedly to protect our heart and throat. But they're just keeping us closed rather than keeping us open and albeit vulnerable open to live life and to receive. So we're here to destroy all of those structures. So sit up tall and join me on the third repetition. Aum ahum pat swaha, 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 Aum ahum patswaha, 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 aum ahum Mahum Patsuha, 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 Sit still. Relax the whole body, keep the integrity of your seat. Allow your breath to carry the message all around the body. Our third mantra is a money mantra. It's an abundance mantra. It's a mantra to open ourselves to the flow of money, which is the way to well pay the bills nowadays and the way to have access to things and the way to have access to knowledge and to an audience so that we can receive more wisdom and we can offer more wisdom. There's nothing that's not spiritual about money. We need the money in our life and this mantra, it opens us up to that flow, the flow of money, the flow of abundance when it comes to currency. Especially nowadays with everything going on, a lot of people are in difficulty. So it's important to stay open to that flow. A lot of times it's fear, it's blocking ourselves because we're fixed with some previous ideas of how to make money or of how to accept money. So this is a mantra that opens us up to what we deserve an abundant life so that we can be of service and so that we can love. So sitting up tall, this is a mantra with four Sanskrit letters. Sa, Ka, La, Kherim. H-R-I-M, Kherim. Sa, Ka, La, Kherim. So sitting up tall, you just focus on the sound. Relax the eyebrows, stack the energetic centers one on top of the other and join me on the third repetition. Sa ka la krem 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 
สาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาเครมสาขาลาสาขาลาเครมสิ still sit with the vibrations So the effect of the mantra practice depends on your discipline, just like any practice. Without work, there's no results. So it's all about focus and consistency. If you'd like the message behind these mantras, feel free to repeat these mantras every day. Maybe two minutes of each. Just time yourself and repeat them. The faster you go, the better. And actually, when you do it on your own, do it silently. Just sit up tall and just keep repeating it in your head. When you do it silently, it has a an effect on the subtle body, which is what you want to work with, your internal reality. So you just repeat the sound and keep listening to the sound in your head. All your focus there. Keep repeating it. And time yourself two minutes of each mantra. If you want to just do one mantra, maybe just time yourself for three minutes or for five minutes. But every day, keep doing your practice. We'll now breathe deeply from our root all the way up to the crown of the head, and exhale all the way down. Visualize a clear, clean, straight line from your root all the way up, and inhale. Towards the crown of the head, and exhale all the way down. Sit still, sit tall, relax the eyebrows. Inhale all the way up, and exhale all the way down. One more time. Inhale all the way up. Think of cleansing that line. Think of a bright light there. Exhale all the way down. A clear, straight path. Then come back to a natural breath. We'll finish our practice with Kaya Stira, complete stillness. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders back. Your shoulder blades down. Pull your lower belly in and lift it up. Keep that integrity in your body and just. Stay still, relax, surrender to stillness. Allow stillness and silence to do the work. Allow your body to digest the practice. And if any thoughts come up, any feelings, watch them. Their feedback, their feedback about where you are in your journey, about your past, about your choices, about your experiences, about your fears, insecurities, about your worries, about the future. But again, treat everything as feedback rather than getting attached to it and allowing it to take you down any rabbit hole. Just stay still. Focus on the stillness. Focus on the silence, and if anything comes up, watch it, acknowledge it, and come back to the stillness. Come back to the silence.
few more seconds of stillness, stay focused, stay present. Gently bring your awareness back to your pelvic floor. Feel how it naturally lifts up with your exhales and how it naturally drops with your inhales. With your next inhale, lift up through the pelvic floor just an energetic lift all the way up to the crown of the head open the mouth and exhale one more time inhale deeply from your roots to the crown of the head open the mouth let it go relax your elbows relax your arms inhale your arms up reach up stretch up exhale your arms by your sides just like wings inhale and fly high up again reach up and then exhale hands to heart center palms together pull the shoulders back the shoulder blades down allow your head to bow forward take a moment of gratitude of appreciation Feel good about how you're taking the time to take care of your health. And feel appreciative of your journey in life. It brought you where you are and you have all the tools to now move anywhere you want to go. finish the practice with an OM, we'll make it an articulate O sound and we'll target the center of the chest. So pick up the back of the scalp, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, pull your belly in, lift it up, send the pubis back. Inhale deeply from the root all the way to your heart and then chant OM. and for your effort. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, you let me know. Next week the idea is that we will uh, build up a bit on this. So if you have a candle, bring it next week and we can do some candle gazing at the beginning. Then we'll build on all the exercise we were doing, all the exercises we were doing today. At the same time, like I said, consistency is key so if something worked for you then keep doing it every time you have the opportunity it's good to have a seated practice every day just find five minutes we all have five minutes just to sit still to breathe and maybe to do a mantra or any other exercise that worked for you today any recommendations are very welcome otherwise i'll see you tomorrow for beginners yoga at one and um let's stay in touch let me know if there's anything in specific you'd like to work on and stay strong stay positive and if you're not that strong at times then just reach out to people and we keep uplifting each other good job everyone